That's a tough one. <laughs> it really depends on who you ask. So according to the United Nations, there are 33 countries in Latin America and the Caribbean today. However, there are mixed feelings on which countries encompass the Latinx community. September 15th is significant because it's the anniversary of independence for Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. Additionally, Mexico celebrates on September 16th and Chile celebrates on September 18th. So gender identity is a hot button issue today and the term Latinx is part of that global movement to introduce gender neutral nouns and pronouns into everyday language. It really challenges the Latino and Latina community to create a space for those that don't simply identify as male or female. It's just so controversial and sometimes people get nasty and it's just sad because we should just just embrace who we are, Latina, Latino, Latinx, Hispanic, you know, Chicano, whatever we it is that we are, we're all family. Familia is important to us. So why do you care? Why do I care? Um, there are a lot of people out there that aren't represented and some flexibility in our everyday language goes a long way for those people to feel included. Resist making assumptions, Listen with empathy and acknowledge and embrace being uncomfortable. Marginalizing others, assuming you can relate to other people's experiences. And please, don't rely solely on us to teach you these things. It's important to do your own research. Here at FactSet, we believe in action, not just words. And as we commemorate this important month, we're partnering with MLT and officially joining the Hispanic Equity at Work initiative as we continue to hold ourselves accountable in our DE&I journey.